Hey there Cancer, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. If you're new, please check out my playlist. I have everything in there about the Twin Flames, what to do, about healing, etc. There's also there's two playlists, one's for tarot. Doesn't mean you if you want to um, learn tarot. It gives you the definitions of tarot for Twin Flames because most on YouTube is... Um, tarot cards are created for soulmates if you're watching me your twin flame it's a completely different definition so please check out that so i'm going to jump straight in I want it to pop out because I've done a pre-shuffle <laughs> so let's see what's going on the moon card please check out that in my playlist if you're new as well so the first card nine of swords which is um, this is your person <laughs> it's normally about you so this could be your concerns such as what's going on at the moment maybe there's no communication because of um there's a tower moment as well so to me i'm picking up that maybe there was an off or something like that because this is the nine of swords and i state this is your person because your person is normally as well as you most people have their people that's up in their rear telling them what not what to do but your person is nine of swords represents nightmare but is going within because it's constantly thinking about what to do to do with this twin flame this is the symbolism of twin flame here um and you can see like the flames are around here and the swords are here in his thoughts in his thoughts in his thoughts what to do what are he or she what to do what can i do what can i do this is going within can you see the hands covering the eyes that could be their really emotional could be tears it depends how far you're on this journey as well it depends on their person but as you can see they still have people around them right by his or her side so they're figuring out and the sun is directly here this is to do with going within like i said but the sun is in um third eye and the heart chakra so this is going within now i'm not saying your person meditates this is normally the feminine or if you're watching that you're the person that normally does that kind of stuff but whatever they are thinking about with the twin flame because it's twin flame it naturally affects their heart chakra and their third eye so they might do it but on a subconscious of not knowing also if you're doing it and it is aligning with them and it's because the sun is in this card even though this is a cold card it's cold because of being in the nine of swords is not great is it constantly thinking 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 this is one of those moments thinking can't get you off the brain <laughs> that kind of thing all the swords match all the flames thinking about twin flame one sword thinking about twin flame another sword that's what's going on with your person and they know because of this situation with this person here is what is creating this what can i do because you need to understand they're right there so they're trying to figure out as they normally try to do so all you can do is you keep uh, focusing on your heart chakra because this is this is happening now or gonna happen a tower moment for your person this found they that person there look which is this person here it's going to fall out the tower <laughs> that's that person here it's time look ding it's time for this to um shift this is the timeline which is going to be this is like the divine timing your person's still stuck don't know what to do in that mental logical thoughts as your person most of them are um can't figure it out then divine timing comes in it, it's a twin flame it says we're pushing it 
we'll get, put, a, put a tower moment in here and I say that because it's stars here which is the wish come true which is divine time stars, stars is a planetary system obviously stars are above so higher consciousness higher mind uh, divine timing is upstairs isn't it the stars has come in to push this forward with this car being the chariot because of it needs to blossom um, and like I said this is to do with third eye and um, inner healing the sun to push this forward because of your person stuck most of them are, I um, if you please you're new go into my playlist but most of them I was saying in this German, Gemini reading that most of them have um, have we that if you're watching me normally you've got this tarot then you normally go onto another tarot then you've got another tarot um, I do loads of videos education if you book me I give you tons of stuff what to do but, you know this is a community there's other subs um, um, uh, subscribers you can go to tons of things we can do they don't have jack shit that's why they're always like this that's why the two of swords come up that's why the sneakiness comes up because they haven't got a clue how to do it which is their role perfectly they're playing you see so there needs to be compassion here because of you can come here and listen to me and then go on to another channel and calm yourself down they don't know so this is um, what's going on here the person is can't figure it out so divine timing higher consciousness boom tower pushing it forward your person underneath this one look he's going into the hermit could be a virgo but i'm just saying he's going into the hermit thinking thinking like i said covering his eyes that's all going within once again thinking about you i want to go on this twin flame journey this is what this person is saying the key that's the key Sorry, it's not focusing. That's the key. And like I said, timing. It's time. So this divine timing is coming with that. Can you see that timer here? Yeah, there, that's it. And the keys. So he's following it. This is to do with rooted belief systems. This is trying to put the deception with the moon here behind him. I don't want to keep lying about this person, which they're not lying. They're just protecting you from it. I want to move forward. I want to get out of this, this roots. Look, this, here's the tree above, right? The rooted belief systems. He's stuck in it, thinking about it. Why am I stuck here? Why am I not going towards my twin flame? All this is what's going on. This is wisdom this is wisdom wisdom means taking action not just thinking it's thinking and taking action the hermit card um, is about that and once again there's a lot of thinking here look at this absolutely going within absolutely going in but once again look they're all around your person here all around him and they're not growling but your person has people interference as they would say there which he feels tied to incorrectly because to me the swords down mean incorrect but nevertheless and cold because the swords down in the snow so they're cold to him but nevertheless he's surrounded by them but his shoes off why because he wants to come towards you that's where the the flame is there it's like I'll, I'll 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 give the you know when someone says that saying i'll take off all my clothes and give my, my, my you know the, the coat of my the clothes off my back you know stuff like that he knows that you're the one and that that's what he needs to do or she needs to do so like i give my last shoe to the twin flame trying to figure it out how do i do it without you getting pulled into these lot because he's or she's in it doesn't want you involved this is the tower because of it's a lot for your person to figure out here this is someone who really is trying and the tower because he's trying he's manifesting like i said tower moment here that's the tower here that lightning strike um as above so below he's understanding like i said the rooted belief systems here which is in this card with the massive tree with the roots 
So he's manifesting a tower moment of what to do with the lightning above his head because of he doesn't know what to do. He's tired with this sword here. The magician has all the elements. He's tired of not being in his truth. Your person, him or her. And wants to manifest and balance because he's pointing up and down, which is the balance as within as without. That needs to be an equal balance. Wants to balance out this situation. So your person and you is manifesting at changes here. Oh, look. This is also representing the sun. This is him also understanding that he's got to stop looking at these people. There's no face. If you follow me, no words needed. No looking outside. It's all intuition. This is you. I'm doing a reading about, I'm doing a, a, a yeah, an audio about the high priestess, which is you. Twin flame, you. <laughs> so this is you. You're in his reading. You're in his thoughts. You're in the... This reading is for you, but you're in it. So he knows you're the twin flame. He may not come knocking on your door. You're the twin flame. I know this now. No. But there's an inner knowing for sure that you're the twin flame. Thinking about you. Thinking about you. Thought, 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 thought. Thinking about you. Trying to manifest a new beginning. Tower moment. Yes. Absolutely. This is... I'm going to clarify some cards as well. This is um, what's going on at the moment. This is why it's going on. This is the basis of why it's going on. So I'm just going to clarify some of the top before I move on to this, actually. Can we see what Eosa can say? Oh, look at that. This is amazing. That's you, High Priestess. Hierophant twin flame match here counterpart i haven't had that for a while absolutely wants to commit to you this person and i said at the beginning you may not know what's going on you might think what the hell we've had an argument he's ditched me no this person is figuring out what to do because he knows you're the one they know that but this is a more of a aha moment of i've got to do it and they just they're just stuck why because look at that twin flame six of six of um six of wands once again going within with the dot here which is the third eye this is the butterfly this is the transformation of this situation this is the caduceus the snake the kundalini so maybe you've gone in and done um the kundalini rising um with your chakras this four represents um, Jupiter. Jupiter represents harmony. Um, Jupiter is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is obviously the wands, which is the passion, which is ninth house, which is studying. So you must be studying this twin flame journey to make this shift happen and manifest. Because they don't normally. This is for you. Someone who's watching this has studied the twin flame journey. This one represents Leo. So you've now had the strength to push this forward. You have to have the strength. Because Leo is also to do with the sex, the passion. You're passionately investing. You're passionate about your person, which most are. But they look towards the third party more than the actual twin flame situation scenario whatnot this person's changed that uh leo is what house is that leo is um a fifth house which is what else yeah this is transforming into a, a committed let's say union that's brilliant so before this is the basis underneath what happened before before you needed to, you you wasn't going into your intuition now definitely you're going in you're understanding el the elements because this is can you see the alchemical systems this is the planetary system can you see that little dot there that's the sun which i said the sun here the sun and the third eye with the healing this is to do with inner child loving yourself <laughs> and this card it's weird because look at the baby's face there is it it looks in shock but if you're new please please 
go to eSpot Erica. She's got a video about inner child. If you go onto um, my subscription, she's linked there. She does a video about inner child. Now, every twin flame needs to go and sort out their inner child and love the child. That's why it's wrapped in green. Love of heart chakra spiritual way, not third dimensional soul way. No, that's completely different. Twin flame inner love is different. Now, I mentioned Erica in her video because she explains exactly how you need to be feeling to know if you're working on your inner child correctly. If you don't feel how she said, you haven't touched the surface of inner child work. If you feel like how she says, you're moving out of um, and you're pushing this forward to union and be victorious this is why it's in the high priestess card because it's absolutely important that you understand your twin flame to move this inner child this distressed inner child and love the inner child which is loving yourself because you're the inner child so the basis is you didn't understand this you had to go within absolutely go within for this before you thought you had to just get your pentacles up third dimension or work nine to five which is eight to six in the rat race doing all the corporate thing looking at your guidance but still not really going within because this is guidance to me squirrels and this deck is the guidance and it's like what's going on god he's not here <laughs> she's not here I'm, I'm i'm loving myself i'm getting my pentacles up I'm growing my garden now in this card look you're not in your emotions the squirrel get again you're just thinking on your thoughts of what television and family have been telling you what you should be doing as a soulmate relationship when you're twin flame plus like I said can you see this here this is to do with you're not understand this is third dimensional this is to do with the high priestess here you didn't understand that you was a high priestess can you see that symbol here it's here it's in this card this is nine of pentacles is nothing to do with can you see the high priest uh, guidance has got the mask on here which is covering the face the high priestess covering the face this card this underlying basis you didn't understand it you was looking at can you see the same symbolism here with the moon if you're new please go and check out the moon card well all the cards tarot descriptions they're absolutely vital but this is the same circle here with the moon and the moon here. If you look at it, it rep represents a lot of things within. There's loads of symbolism. So I need to talk about a video about symbolism within the tarot. This is what you didn't understand because the moon is about deception. It's not deception. It's all connected dots to do with the twin flame. It creates healing or deception, which it creates the tears. It's up to you how you see this. This is why this was delayed, but now it's moving forward because someone has changed to study this twin flame correctly. I'm just going to get any more last clarifications. This is excellent. Oh, look, did you fell out here? Before you didn't understand, like I said, this is the sorrow, the three of the three of um, swords. You didn't understand the twin flame. You understand it now because the sword is up. It's in your truth. And this is balancing. That is the Libra sign for balance. And you understand that you mirror each other. This is dark because you need to know about shadow work. <coughs> and this on the top is the devil. This is Capricorn, which means you try to control it incorrectly, which created the heartbreak. Once again, the emperor which is you trying to control it. Now you are shifting to control it the correct way. Before you was like this, get my monies up. This is clarification. This is why it wasn't working before. I got my monies up. I'm looking great. This is how it rolls. This is how this, I'm going to get my person. But you was manifesting nothing. Look, you're looking into the, the background. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Because you was doing it incorrectly. This is not the high priestess. This is the queen of this, which is that's how you manifest a soulmate. You're not a soulmate. You're a twin flame. And <clears throat> once again, this is look to chariot. This now is moving forward. And then this chariot, Sphinx. What are they? Twins. 
before you was one you're in the same picture doesn't matter twin flame you can't cut the cord you're always in the picture right but before you was in the picture but one was facing this way one was facing that way now doing the work the sun the healing all of the inner child you're both facing the same direction and moving forward so this is an excellent reading so i'm just going to get um one last oracle which you know my advice is you know keep on track keep doing what you're doing but let's see what else they're going to say one last card please oh oh yes <coughs> i said one last card look <laughs> it's not down to me i don't make these decisions oh there's one there they want me to show you purification this one is about your words absolutely third dimensional you have to be careful what you say communication especially at the beginning is exactly why it fails you don't know how to communicate correctly you must if you say the wrong thing to the masculine or to your person the matter masculine family it delays union for fact hence why if you book me i have a, a, a thing about communication plus i don't really do email support much but if you want to re-establish communication you email me because you will say it incorrectly that's how much i say so be careful on your communication it's a must because look how you communicate what little thing you say even if you say it correctly even if you say something that you think is nice it can be pressure and i'm going to give you an example with this card coming out you could say i love to see you this weekend i miss you loads that's fucking hardcore pressure because your person has these people around him or her how the hell can he come and see you that weekend what can he say that's what i'm saying words are absolutely vital then he will run and you'll think what have i done i said i missed him i said i love to see him communication is absolutely important that's what this is see look how big this is all this water and emotion and there's your man that's how it or woman it affects him can you see that vibration his thoughts so you must communicate correctly um inner child work like I said about Erica eSport, please check that out. You need to be doing that. If not, this is the fool's journey. Most people don't understand. It's not fool's destination, fool's journey. You get to a certain point. If you communicate incorrectly, if you're not aligning your child and sorting out your inner child, then you go back around that journey. That's the fool's journey. That's the book of life, the story of life. That's how it goes. So you need to be doing that. You need to have compassion for your person, absolutely, because I've shown you all the people and the situation he's dealing with. Also, compassion for yourself, which is sorting this inner child. This is a little bit, no, well, maybe it could be a Gemini, but Gemini reading had these same kind of cards come out. And this, your old, outdated belief systems need to be smashed. This card represents a massive shift. This is not only the tower, this is a massive shift. This removes out that. The tower could be, you know, a, a, a hard moment with the light bulb, you see? This is you awakening to the twin flame journey and it must. Look, this is a volcano eruption. At the back of the card, I, I even wrote it on the back. Not all of them I write on, but this one is like sudden changes. And challenges ahead be cautious see it's even got be cautious because you won't expect it because if you're still in your third dimension you still go but you might say oh no i'm a twin flame i'm doing well you still there's a certain point then the third dimension comes away but at the beginning and this is still kind of at the beginning you're still third dimensional you might think and disagree yeah you most of you are egyptian goddess isis awakens your spirit and shatters outdated belief systems if this card shows up you still in your outdated belief systems you're still a little bit third dimensional like i said if you haven't felt like how erica feels if you if this card comes up you're still a little bit and this is warnings these last cards it's probably how many came out you're doing good but warning 
please keep on track if you're not sure what else to do please check out my playlist my playlist is only to tell you um, teachings if you want to know how to be with your person you have to book me my playlist shows you that I know how to get you with your person it doesn't get you with your person but I can guarantee if you listen to my uh, stuff in the playlist you will know that I know how to get with get you with your person so hopefully this has been good for someone a brilliant reading keep on track and thanks for listening.